the news airline high pub Ududua architectures need to be dealt with seriously for disturbing the peace of the country says Iowa youth details below the Iowa youth consultative forum AYCF I said those agitating for Nigeria's disintegration should be decisively dealt with. Yerima Shetima, national president of the AYCF, made the remark in an interview with Daily Post. Shetima said those whose agitations are endangering the lives of Nigerians should be dealt with in line with Buhari's directives. Faulting the violent approach of IPOP, Shetima pointed out that the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, M-A-S-S-O-B, go about their agitation peacefully without endangering the lives of Nigerians. Shetima said, All of us are victims of the society. Today, in one way or the other. So if something goes wrong, you don't have to behave abnormal. When you look at the situation on ground and think the only way out is to become violent at the expense of people's life, then such agitation is not worth it. Yes, certain things went wrong and we also, in northern part of the country, have suffered the same problem. In fact, we have even suffered more than where the agitation is coming from. Can the situation today in the northwest or northeast be compared to the realities in the southwest and southeast? The answer is no. For over two decades now, we have been suffering from one trouble to another, from poverty to marginalization, to deprivation, and so on. Even at that, we never deemed it necessary to take up arms against the state. So, no matter how you look at it, their approaches are wrong. Don't we have other groups agitating, like MASSOB? Do you see Masob endangering the lives of innocent citizens of the Southeast? The answer is no. Was it not for Masob, IPUB broke out and is led by that blind man. Who put the lives of people in danger? Masop goes about their demands, which are very genuine, by their thinking and feeling. Masop has said it really believes that the Southeast is being marginalized, and if Nigeria can address some of this injustice meted on them, they are willing to come back and build the nation. However, the high pub's approach is wrong, and two wrongs cannot make a right. Looking at this situation, you cannot solve problems with problems. We have faith in the country despite the shortcomings. We believe some days we will turn things around instead of balkanizing the country in the name of agitation. Most of those agitation thoughts are young elements who should come together and build a synergy within themselves that would fight against those oppressing them. Anybody find disobeying the law of the land should be dealt with decisively. Nobody is above the law. If you balkanize the country, where will you go to? You can't be an American citizen. You will still remain a Nigerian. 
if you balkanize here, where will you run to? You are a refuge anywhere you run to. We suffered during the war and we cannot go back there again. If there is a way we can amend what happened in the past to ensure that the war never happened, we would have done that. Every so everybody suffered for that. So is that where they want us to return to now that there is arms proliferation? We can't survive a second war, so Nigerians must learn to stay together. We can agitate without endangering the life of anybody. We can agitate without endangering the life of anybody. The Arab youth says that IPOB Odutua agitators need to be dealt with seriously for disturbing the peace of the country. The agitators are endangering the lives of Nigeria. Faulting the violent approach of IPOP, Chetima pointed that the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra go about their agitation peacefully without endangering the lives of Nigerians. But IPOP goes about endangering the lives of Nigeria. All of us are victims of the society today, one way or the other. So if anything goes wrong in this nation, we don't need to behave abnormal. Because when we look at the situation on ground, and we think the only way we can make a way out is to become violent at the expense of people's life, then such our agitation is not worth it. We know that some certain things went wrong. And we know that in the northern part of the country, they have suffered the same problem, even more than the southeast people. These agitators should make sure it is peaceful. Their agitation is peaceful. Not making agitations at the expense of people's lives. People are suffering. Lives are being taken off. Their approach should be right. No matter how we look at it, the, the way they are approaching this matter is wrong. They need to come together, not to endanger the lives of citizens of the Southeast.